Hey, it's Kip K from Make Magazine. Join me as I show you how to make not one, but two different kinds of vortex cannons on today's weekend project. You can find the Vortex Cannons project in Make Volume 15. First up, the Tub Thumping Cannon. All you need to build the Tub Thumping Cannon is a 32 gallon trash can, an industrial strength trash bag, some tape, a couple of bungee cords, and a ball. I'm using a golf ball. And of course, the main ingredient, smoke. First thing we're going to do is cut a six inch hole in the bottom of our trash can and you can you use uh, different size holes for different effects but we're going to start out with a six inch hole I'm going to basically cut this open this will be our exhaust port for our smoke all right got our six inch hole cut all right now we're going to cut open our trash bag we just need a large enough piece of the bag to cover the hole, the uh, large hole in the trash can. Then we're going to take our ball and uh, just kind of wrap the plastic bag around our ball and uh, we're going to end up tying this off with a small bungee cord. Okay, now we're also going to take uh, another bungee cord and we're going to loop that through the little bungee cord that we have uh, the, our ball tied up with. Then it's time to start taping our trash bag down over our trash can. Now it's time for smoke. There we go. Here's our tub thumping cannon. Now by using a, a we could cut a larger hole in the one end and get a larger ring. They actually go pretty far. It's going all the way across the garage here. That's the tub thumping cannon. Now it's time for the next one. The Barking Tube Vortex Cannon is a completely different animal. It's computer controlled and uses a 12 inch speaker, some tape, power amplifier, laptop with some software, thin piece of plywood, and a 12 inch cardboard form tube. Let's make it. The exhaust end of our tube is going to be made out of plywood, so we're going to mark a circle and then cut it out. Now it's basically time to just tape it down to one end of our tube. All right, now it's time to drill a six inch hole in our newly attached exhaust port. Our 12 inch speaker is going to go, of course, face down on our 12 inch tube and uh, centered as best we can and then uh, taped in place. Our speaker is securely taped and I've hooked up a uh, cable going to my amplifier and uh, we're going to test out make sure that the speaker is working and let's see Speaker's kicking, so it's uh, time to load the software, fill it with smoke, and see what happens. The software that uh, we're going to install is from NCH, and it's a free tone generator software. There's a link along with this video of where you can uh, get this software. And that's what we're going to use to uh, generate the tones for our Barking Tube Vortex Cannon. Not getting much, not getting much out of that. I think we may need more power. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to shorten the length of this tube to uh, about half so we can generate a little bit more air because I've got this amp cranked and uh, the woofer is really kicking some air. So 
We're going to shorten this tube and uh, try it again. Okay, our barking tube cannon is now shorter than it originally was, and we've got it filled with smoke, and we're going to roll our sawtooth sound. Okay, it's kicking out nice rings now. Just uh, too much length, not enough speaker push before. Uh, now it's about right. I can crank this up a little bit more. It's almost shooting two rings. So how do vortex cannons work? Well, when an object moves through the friction of the air, in this case smoke, it pushes the air in front of it out of the way and leaves a space behind. So basically, as the smoke moves forward, an outer layer is dragged back, and what starts out as a ball of smoke ends up as a ring. That's how to make a couple of different vortex cannons. We'd love to see an example if you make one, so let us know. We'll see you next time with another weekend project.